Morning all, sorry, doing the camera from the other angle here. Yeah? Here with Alice, Darren Smith asked me to show him my walk round check. Now, it says in the walk round check they want, sometimes they want at least 10 minutes, sometimes they want 15 minutes. This is a bit of a misnomer, because that says maybe, but the problem is A, there's a big difference between driving one of these boys, one of these Arctics, that ain't got a trailer unit on it, but one of them, or one of these. Because when you've got the Arctic, you've got to marry up the lines, you've got to check this. Also, I drive the same lorry every day. So if something goes wrong, I know about it. But if you're jumping in a different truck every day, you don't know what state it's been in. Having said that, due diligence. So this is the walk round check. First thing to do, get in the lorry in the morning. Done that already, obviously. Pull it out, because so, you've got to check, you want to get it up and running. You want to check to, um, morning Simon, all right, but you want to check to make sure that the, um, you've got to make sure you've got to build the air up, you've got to make sure the brakes are working, you've got to make sure the steering's working. So get in, put it forward, give the steering a little turn around, hit the brakes, taco, you said that the lights are all on, fantastic, that's your taco checked and all that kind of thing. You can at this point check the indicators, up and down, give them a squirt, make sure the washers are working. If it's not between the hours of like seven and 12, hit the horn, little beep, make sure it's working. Then we're doing a walk around check. Get the hazards on. Check your lights. You turn your lights on side lights and main lights. Check them. Check your your um your tracer lights at the top. That's all good. Right, lovely. Also, when you're doing your um, bit in the morning, have a little look around the, the window, the glass mirror, and all that kind of stuff. Then we check the mirrors. Make sure they're clean in the right places. Then we check the wheels. Now, checking the wheels goes like this. Kick the wheel. Make sure it's indicated. What you want to get, and I've, I've got to get some new ones, wheel nut indicators, because that way, oh, sidebars, check your sidebars, they're good, make sure your straps are on, that kind of thing, like challenge Annika this, keep that wheel, checking the lights, checking the lights, they're all good, your reflectors are all good, fantastic, now we come round here again, he says check your load is secure, I haven't got a load on board, but if you have, open it up, check your straps, and we check in the back, Indicators are going, lights are good. Lights on the top are good. Also, get yourself a little um, a wooden stick. Done this already. Stick it against the brakes, then you know your brake lights are working. Fantastic. Right, we'll go around the other side now. Once again, checking all my straps are good. Tail lift hasn't been tampered with. What you can do, under here, pull that out. Can't do this with one hand. You flip that over, flip it like that. I've done it already. It goes burnt. We've got power tail lift. It's not essential because you don't need the tail lift to drive. It's not going to cause any damage or anything like that. If you're driving the motor, the tail lift don't work. You might not even use the tail lift. You know, doesn't it? Kick that tyre. Kick that to make sure that that's okay. Check here to make sure that the air blue and the fuel caps are still on because uh, some of the local brigades sometimes have a tendency to help themselves. Again, doesn't help, doesn't stop the security of the truck. Give that a little quick there, make sure that's fine. Um, and that is my general walk around check in the morning. Now, how right I am or not that, I don't know, but that is me just checking. Oh, and the other thing is check the, check the exhaust. Make sure there isn't tons of smoke flying out of the exhaust. But you'd know about it, actually. Oh, God, Christ, it's like old London town here. But yeah, that's what I do. And then you get on your defect sheet, give them all a little tick off. I'll get in, yeah, I'll show you, let's do one of these here. Here's one I made early in time. I haven't done today's yet, because I've only just finished the end of the year thing. Right, so you got, I mean, what I used to use, I used to use the app on my phone, but what I now use, I've got a little defects book, I've got one of these off of Amazon, that guy there, and we tick them off, fuel leaks, oh, when you pull forward, have a look underneath to make sure that there's no puddles. So you did oil and water, I do it once a week, if I'm honest. Uh, speedo, well, I pull forward and the, um, the uh, what do you call it, the, 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 the needle moves, so that's fine. Steering we checked, washers and wipers, that's the other one, check them, check your windscreen, make sure there's nothing, check your mirrors, they're all cool, horn, there you go, uh, mirrors were done, glass and windscreen fine, brakes were working because it stopped when I pulled forward, wheels were checked, spray special, I haven't got any, security load, I haven't got one, lights and indicators, check them, reflectors, check them, markers, check them, battery, I'll make sure the thing hasn't been tampered with, no exhaust smoke, no air leaks, because I'd know about it by now because it's been running for a good five, ten minutes. Um, I hit brakes up this by accident, I don't know why I've done that. ADR kit, I know it's on board because it was on board yesterday, so it's on board today, and the taco is working because the taco is now saying, and this is good this, there's your odd, there is your odometer meeting, you have to enter that. Don't enter the one on the speedo, 
that one, or well, I think they're the same, enter that one, enter the kilometers one, and you can flick down, and I can now see that I have spent nine minutes checking the truck. So that's plenty. Now, it doesn't always take me nine minutes. Sometimes I can do it in three minutes. Literally, bang, 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 all the way around. Yeah, it works. But then there's other things you've got to do. You've got to set the sat nav if you don't know where you're going. You've got to stick your radio on. You've got to make sure that everything's all safe and tidy. Have a sip of tea and you're good to go. That's my walk round check. Other people's might be different. If you're in a bigger truck, you've got other things to consider. If you're in an Arctic, you've got loads to consider. And if it's not your own vehicle, once again, but do it properly, because that way you can't come unstuck. But anyway, Darren, hope that helps. I'll do one on low security when I get around to it. And in the meantime, take care, take money.